Ooh wee, Big Mo, welcome to the Lawn Stars, guys and gals. Today is just gonna be a short and sweet review of the new twills that I got on the mower. Uh, if you didn't watch the last video, these are, if you have a Skag V-Ride 2, that's a 48 or a 52 inch. Uh, this right here, boom, right here. These are the twills you are supposed to get for the mower. So if you want to know that, that's what they are. And now to the uh, review. Okay. When I first unboxed these things, I was a little nervous. I, I was really nervous because they look gigantic. Okay. <laughs> they look way bigger than the tires and the wheels that are on the uh, V-Ride to begin with. Here they are. Nice and dirty now. They come out real stark black and they look kind of weird on the mower at first. And they look a little more normal now that they're dirty as the rest of the mower. But, um, and oddly enough, they're really oily. If you put them on yourself, I don't know, you know, if you have a dealer, if you get them from a dealer and have them put them on, uh, they may clean that off or something. I don't know. But mine came in a box and or two boxes. And uh, when I took them out of the box, they're just like smothered in oil. So I don't know what that's about. But you could see the size difference here. It it doesn't look really that bad once you have it on the mower but when it's off of the mower i don't know if it's because it's being kind of squished down or or what but it looks enormous you know next to the next to this one and it is bigger <clears throat> it is it doesn't just look bigger it is it is bigger you could see um and width what tall wise you know that's what worried me when it wasn't as worried about the width because i knew they were going to be wider uh it was the height i was like when i first saw it i was like dang is it going to rub like this or something there or something on the inside but once i got them on uh you could tell that it you know doesn't rub anything obviously doesn't rub anything on top there doesn't rub anything on the inside there which is important because it's wide they're wider like i said the thing i had a concern about also was if it was going to make the mower wider basically <laughs> because it was it going to be wider than the deck because i had some yards that uh I could only fit through barely so was it going to make the deck wider and you could tell right here it actually doesn't i don't know i don't know if it's because it takes a little here and a little there i don't even know how to say this um i don't know if it takes some of, it is wider but i don't know if it takes up some of that slack on each side or something just the way it's <clears throat> inset like that because it's not it's definitely not wider than the deck but maybe it it maybe it's a little wider this way and a little wider that way but not so wide as to run into this stuff over here or go past your deck now shane over at dlt lawn care he told me that it they are wider than his but he has a 48 and this is a 52 so he said they are wider than his deck so you might want to keep that in mind i believe he said that uh but on the 52 they do not stick out farther wider than the deck um what have i noticed about them uh at first i kind of thought you know is it going to make the deck height different you know because they were so much bigger i was like is it, even though they fit 
and don't rub anything or is it going to affect the deck height you know am i going to have to adjust for that and as far as i could tell and as far as shane over at dlt lawn care uh as far as he's of what he says and what i've seen i don't think it affects the height of the deck um <clears throat> There's a certain way you're supposed to put these on. Let me go ahead and get that out of the way. And I'll show you right here. Here is a instructions. Here are the instructions of how you're supposed to install them and uh, how much torque you're supposed to put on them when you're tightening them up. And keep that in mind. Don't just go crazy with the, with the um, air wrench, <laughs> you know, and just, uh, you know, torque them to the right spec. And then uh, I believe it says on there every 10 or the first 10 hours, tighten them up again, torque them up again. And then every time you do maintenance. So that's something maybe a little different about these, but now let's move on to performance. Uh, you might think because they're, you know, different like this and more rigid seem seemingly rigid um that it would be a bumpier ride well it's not uh i don't know it's not smoother and it's not bumpier it just feels just like the other wheels feels just like them and that's a good thing um i'm trying to think if there's anything performance wise now, Shane says that, you know, they tear up the grass easier doing turns. I didn't notice that yesterday, but maybe it's just because of the way I, I turned the mower. Um, he said you had to be careful, you know, not to tear up, tear up the grass. And uh, I didn't notice any, really any difference. Uh, the brake will be tighter because they are higher up the brake is definitely going to be tighter but it's not <laughs> you know it's not anything uh stupid you know it's not anything drastic uh it's just a little bit a little bit tighter uh the only thing i noticed really was it, they may be a little slicker In a sense, let's say, uh, I think I was on a hill or something and I was trying to, uh, I think I might've been pointed downhill and I was trying to back off the trailer and they were kind of, I don't know, just slid a little more than than uh, than the other ones. But as you can see, I mean, the tread is not that drastically different. I mean, that has smaller ones. There's just gonna be a little difference, you know. Um, I believe they do tend to slide a little more on things, but other than that, height wise, turning wise, the feel of the ride wise seem to be right on par with the, with the old ones. So you would say, well, why would you even want to get them? You know, if they're not any not any better or different well the obvious reason is and why you would why you would get them is uh you know no flats that's why i got them um <clears throat> if i were still just doing manicured nice yards uh i think it's a i think it would be a waste of money because they are expensive um I'll put a link again down in this video. If nobody saw the last, if someone was watching this one and didn't see the last video, I'll put a link where I got them. Got them for 600 and something a piece. Uh, somebody from the last video went to the page and saw it was 700 something, and it is if you buy one. But who's going to buy one? You know, unless you have a unicycle motor mower. <laughs> uh, you're going to buy two so if you buy two they're 600 and something 
you know, unless you're just replacing one or something like that. So if you buy two on that site, you can, and they're not, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. That's just the cheapest place that I found to buy them. You might have found them cheaper. Uh, but most places were well more expensive. You know, they were 800 and up uh, per tire. So that was the cheapest place I could find them. And uh, so that link will be down in the, uh, you know, that section down there, you know, the description. Um, but yeah, so if you're just, but like I was saying, if I had just a manicure yard, manicure yards, wouldn't fool with it, not, not worth that. You know, it's a lot of money. And, uh, but I have picked up a lot of, um, commercial properties that I was getting, I was having to plug the tires, um, quite often like every other day <laughs> so uh that was getting tiresome and uh so i just decided to go with these so they won't go flat they will not go flat obviously and the front tires already they're already solid so they don't go flat um so yeah there you go i said it was going to be a short video i guess it's not that short <laughs> but uh hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something about these things uh, bottom line you know if you're having a lot of flats get them they're worth it if not it's not worth it and they're not going to be they're not going to make a drastic change in your mower where you're just like uh hating them or something like that they seem to be very similar so anyway until next time, Big Mo signing off. Boo! This has been a Lone Stars Dramedy Network presentation dolling.